Avenger of Zendikar. This is one of those cards that, when it comes into play, it basically says, I'm going to flip a coin, heads I win, tails you lose. The game? Yeah. He says, when he comes into play, you get a 0-1 plant for each land you have. With Concord or Crossroads and any land dropping mechanic like Azusa, you get a fuck ton of lands, and you just get really big plants. Platinum Angel. When did you put that in there? Recently. It just... It's assurance. But it's a false sense of security I have learned. Because I used to play that in my fail god mode deck. And I killed you. Yeah. Loser. It's just... If you can give it Shroud and they can't stop it, then it makes them quit. Yeah. That You're supposed to scare your opponent with it. It's not supposed to actually do that, anything that, in the deck. That's the false sense of security. How do you give that Shroud? Lightning Grease. Oh, okay. That's right. I have the stuff in the deck to do it. It's just... You use it to psych your opponent up. Basically, uh, or it's just a 4-4 four, four flyer. Basically, now that I know he has that, when I see that in play, yeah, I surrender, I guess. Because what's the point, you know? He can if he can't get rid of it. Yeah, if I, if I can't get rid of it, it's done. Molgraf Monstrosity. I love this card. People have told me it's bad. I tell them to go die, because if I have Greater Grid out, and then I play this, I get to reanimate two guys. It's an 8-8. While eight. drawing five. 8-8 eight, yeah. eight reanimator? Well, when it dies, I get to reanimate two things at random from my graveyard. So if how would you only... do that at random? Like the dice roll we were doing? Yep. Okay. Count all the creatures in the graveyard, pick the appropriate dice, and then roll twice. Okay. Vorclex, Voice of Hunger. Their lands stay tapped for a turn, and your lands tap for an additional one. He's pretty bonkers in this deck. Crater Hoof Behemoth. Again, Russian. I like foreign languages. It's a weakness. Crater Hoof Behemoth is a 5-5 haste. When he comes into play, creatures you control get plus X plus X until end of turn where X is the amount of creatures you control. Wait, that, I thought that was trample in Russian. That's haste. Wow. Yep. Let me zoom in on that. Wow, that's awesome. Okay. Calony Hydra. It's an 8-8 trampler for 8 green, but it costs 1 green less for each green creature you control. You cool. got 8 creatures, it's a free. free. It's a free 8-8. He's really good with Primal Crux. That makes Primal Crooks a 14-14. Artisan of Kozilek. He's a reanimate on a stick. He's a he's a 10-9 Annihilator 2. When he come, when he's Annihilator cast, 2? Wait, yep. okay. When you cast it, you get to reanimate a creature from your graveyard. Yeah, that guy's bad. He's really good. Wait, uh, wait is he um, invincible? or nope. No. That's the uncommon one. So the only way you could really deal with that is counter that out of your hand, ping well, it no, back it to your hand. It's just when I cast it. So when I make the mana go sideways, I get to reanimate the dude no matter what. Okay. This just wouldn't come in. I mean, denying a 10-9 body is also probably pretty good. Kozilek Butcher of Truth. Ugh. Now we're getting to the big ones. He's the 12-12 for 10. When he comes into, when, he, when you cast him, draw four. The draw four is important. You'll find it might look a little daunting for 10 mana, but you will always have 10 mana. I'm not kidding. When he comes into, when you cast him, draw four, he's got Annihilator four. And if he goes into a graveyard from anywhere, your entire graveyard comes back. So, so far, that's three big dudes you have with Annihilator. Ugh. Yes, three. Ulmog, the Infinite Gutter. God. If you guys want to admire the art, I don't blame you. <clears throat> Ulmog says, when you cast him, destroy target permanent, Annihilator four, indestructible. Same protocol as this guy. If he goes into a graveyard from anywhere, just shuffle the graveyard back in. Yeah, and that's not a proxy. That's the actual card. That's he didn't buy that off eBay. Card. He that is the actual card. Flip it over. That he has a. Well, we don't. He I know. Has an I know a couple of artists that are very good friends of mine that will happily draw. Um. I'm not sure how they do with requests. Please don't ask. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I've asked, and I, you know, I'm a close friend. I don't. I don't get shit. So. And the last card in here is Blights of Colossus. When mm -hmm. you just need that infect bomb. So, all in all, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 30, 1, 2, 32 creatures, 33 lands. Uh, my math is correct, that's 65, 65, 99 minus 65 puts that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 4. 34. I got 34 non-creature pieces of cardboard. That is how I made my Mono Green Azusa deck. People have told me to use a lot less uh, spells and just run a Primal Surge. I told them no. This is my favorite deck to play in EDH. It's really silly. 
I hope you enjoy it. Please don't copy it from me. And this is Low Flying Goose signing out with Dub's Treasure Store. Oh, and I guess this is our last break. When we do come back, we're going to have one more uh, battle. It'll be a Pokemon uh, review battle. And if we do have time, we might we might go back to the plane chase. I don't know. We're we're in a uh, crunch time now. Or you guys might get to see my truth out there. Yes. Maybe. So, yeah. Actually, that'd be really neat. So take care, guys. Thank you for following us. Uh, follow the blog at dubstreasurestore.com forward slash blog. All right. Have a good day. Take it easy.